Good day to everyone. Uh, well, today it's the 25th of June 2021. So, um, this video is uh, for the Our Empire for the shipment uh, 1718, I believe. Yep, it's 1718. So, uh, I have two packages here coming from the Our Empire. So as what I have promised, um, I'll be featuring luxury watches for today, for this video uh, and packaging review. So um, these were the timepieces that got delayed. So uh, just bear with me. Uh, let's see. So uh, for this particular shipment, I have incurred um, customs. So, well, let's uh, open everything first and then I'll be um, checking on the declaration details and on what happened. So, uh, this uh, timepieces was basically questioned by customs. So, what happened is it went back to UAE. Alright. So, just to uh, show to everyone, we're going to feature uh, luxury watches. So, it was being re-delivered uh, through UPS, right? So, let's see. So basically, to show everybody, okay, I have incurred a total of uh, customs taxes. So here we go. So this one came from, you can basically check it over there. Where was that? Here we go. That's from the Our Empire LLC. So for this shipment, if you can simply uh, notice, uh, coming from the declaration details, I only paid 900 yen. So good job on the declaration. Anjo, I really appreciate it. So let's uh, unpack this one first. So, see. by the way, this uh, shipment was sent out on the 21st of June. So you can see it over there. 21st of June. Okay. So, uh, it just took a couple of days because it was being sent out, I believe, express due to the delay. So, let's unwrap it, okay? So, Customs had already opened this one up because they checked it and took photos of my shipment. So, basically, you can see it over there. It's already been ripped off. So... Uh, I'll just uh, take out everything first. Alright. Okay. So, we have one, two, and I think those are the three watches. And thank you, Angel, for the bubble wrap. Um, and not quite sure what happened to the luxuries. It's not on bubble wrap anymore. Probably customs had already uh, took it, uh, had actually uh, taken it out. So um, we have a total of four boxes here. So let's see, let's open up the next one. Let's put it on the side for a second. 
Okay, so this shipment is, well, this one is uh, basically the shipment that got delayed for three weeks. All right. So let's check the declaration details. So we have two over here. Let's put that on the side. So for this shipment, just to share with everybody, uh, total uh, cost that ha I had incurred, right, is for a total, let's rip it off, alright, so for this shipment, it's a total of 1,400 yen, alright. So I hope that's clear for the customs fee and taxes. So I'm basically um, not avoiding taxes at all. Alright. So let's check. So for this package we have one. Two, and a couple of low cost items. All right. So that's three, four. All right. So as promised, uh, I uh, I have luxury watches here in front of me right now. So. These are the luxury watches. All right, I'll feature this one uh, later. Let's feature first the mid-range ones or the micro brands. All right, so we have four. So let's start for our first item. Uh, this is the digital watch that I won from their event. Alright, so for this timepiece, alright, if you can simply notice, you just have to swipe it. And there, there you go. It shows you the time. So, definitely this one is for my daughter. So, it looks elegant. Uh, mesh strap and the best part over there is oh it's magnetic All right there you go so this is for the free watch so uh, well I could basically uh, advise you guys to like share and follow the our empire um, and Temp24 plus Ninong Tomas because um, those three pages um, sometimes uh, Brother Tomas announces certain events and they do have uh, timepiece reviews as well on the items available that they're selling alright for bidding so Please uh, like, share, and follow, all right, so that everybody will get notified on um, latest updates or latest time pieces that they're they can that they're offering to their viewers, all right. So first time piece, there you go. So let's move on to the second time piece. Oh, this one's for my wife. So, I swear a glove. Not that one. Let's remove this for a second. Alright. Here we go. Alright. So, what we have here is D-Max, all right? 
So it's Arado inspired timepiece. And let's check it further. So definitely I know that uh, my wife would like this one just for daily use. Alright. So D Max uh, it says here that it's since 1946. Alright, so it's a micro brand. And for this time piece it says stainless steel and sapphire crystal so it's scratch proof there you go so it's arado inspired arado diastar inspired timepiece all right let's focus it a bit on its dial there you go so it looks elegant and let's check for its face diameter so def definitely this is uh, a woman's timepiece because, um, well, it's small, the, the case is small, so we're going to base it on its case diameter. It's uh, 27 or 26, I think 20, 27.5, there you go. So it's 27.5, right? And it looks elegant. So we won't be focusing that much on the micro brands for this review because what we're basically into are the spicy stuff. So next time piece, let's check this. So what we have over here is another free watch that I got from them. It's the 2K collection or what they call it as an Eek. Alright. So it's an Eek collection so it has a rotating bezel. Alright. And stainless steel back water resistant uh, let's see it doesn't say uh, how deep right so for this one it's a Rolex all right inspired there you go looks elegant by the way um, if we're going to compare it to what I'm wearing I know that Probably uh, most of you guys who have subscribed on my channel is aware on the difference between the two. There you go. So that's a Rolex. And this one is 2K Collection. Alright. So uh, for its quality as what well I can say, uh, it's heavy. Alright. Solid build. And it has a magnified date window. Let's focus it there. So you can simply notice it's magnified. So if we're going to check it on our wrist, so let's remove the, the seal here. So I already have two of this, so it perfectly fits my wrist, there you go. At a glance, you will basically notice that it's uh, a different uh, mod, a different brand. It really looks like uh, a Rolex Submariner, alright, so there you go. So this timepiece, I basically won it from their event, right, uh, on their daily events. So uh, if you guys want to have a free watch for those people who can't manage to afford getting one, well, you could take advantage of their events. They're generous to give out free watches to uh, people who win on their events. Alright, so there you go. That's the 2K collection. Alright. 
so checking it out it has a luminous indices hands as well the, the minute and the hour and the second oh no it's yeah seconds um, it has aluminous indices all right so there you go so it's a black dial looks nice I like it all right. so if you're let's say uh, going to work and uh, you don't want your expensive or your luxury watches to be scratched well definitely this time pieces comes in handy all right next one so what we have here is the current right we all know that Tomas actually features uh, this micro brand because of its unique design and quality and definitely uh, the designs are unique so here we go what we have on the inclusion is its instruction manual right and let's check for the timepiece So what we have here is uh, a black gold right time piece and let's see there you go so it looks elegant let's remove the lock so that we could check on the chrono there so what we have here is a timepiece that has a working chrono. All right, let's focus on it a bit. There you go. So let's check out the chrono. There. So you can see the top. All right, it's working. And we're going to reset it. So it stopped. There you go. Let's move it. Let it move once more. There. So we have a unique design here. So let's reset it. There. So it's back on top. All right. So this is. Uh, Karen and for its unique design I can definitely say it's worth purchasing there you go it looks like my what to call this uh, well I have a couple of timepiece over here I basically have uh, well I for you guys, I actually uh, hope that you could actually check that there's a bit of a similarity to the dial of a Tagiwer Carrera, all right? And for the Mido Commander, so you can basically notice um, the only thing missing is the day and date window right but it's still elegant to be honest so if you're let's say wearing a, a black long sleeve all right and then uh, you have gold in you this looks elegant all right so it's a timepiece uh, that you should uh, watch out on their live in case that you like it so for its case diameter okay it's well it's big uh, it's 48 millimeter so it's a big time piece there you go 48 millimeter and for its thickness it's 14.5 millimeter there you go and it, it's heavy so it only means that it has a solid build 
and we have a fine finishing so it says at the back it's water resistant um, stainless steel back plate and a as for the strap, as what I can notice, it's matte black and well for the strap itself, it's the well the tone is it's like ceramic. So not quite sure if this is scratch proof or or not, but well the design is elegant and i like it all right so that's the current all right fine piece a micro brand with unique design and it has a tacky meter all right on its glass bezel so there you go so that's current all right now, since that we're done featuring the micro brands, this is the much awaited um, part of the review wherein we're going to feature out luxury timepieces. Alright, so let's put this one back here. So let's see which one should we do first. So that's one, two, three. So as promised, right, I'll just put this one back on my watch box. There you go. All right, so let's leave the spicy one for last and let's feature something uh, a little bit vintage, all right? So for this time piece, just to share with everybody, it's Rado, all right? So this is the timepiece that I bidded, alright, from the Empire, it's a luxury timepiece. Let's check this. So, wait, give me a second here. Alright, so there you go. That's Rado, right? So for the inclusion, what we basically have here is an old card, right? Because it's what I mentioned, this one is a vintage one. So let's see. This is the two-year international warranty for this Rado, okay? So, basically, for this particular timepiece, just to share with everybody, this is the model for this one is the R126370. What's that? Oh, 013. So, this is a vintage one. Alright. So, it's. Uh, old design there you go so that's what it looks like okay so one of the official rados that was been released in the market or uh, well it's the i think this is actually the first 100 meter rado that was been released uh that already uh, well its build is basically uh, scratch proof right so let's see 
here we go. And if you can suddenly notice, um, for this particular timepiece, uh, what we basically have over here is a push button deployment clasp lock. There you go. So, and it's titanium. Right? So, uh, probably um, if you're going to simply notice uh, all of the radius to identify if it's original you can see the hook over there if you rotate it it also follows all right so for this particular time piece uh, what we have over here is a 10 bar water resistant right and it's automatic so let me just wind it up here Well, let's set it up later. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. So here we go. So you could, everybody can see it's automatic. It's an automatic timepiece. And it's scratch resistant. And showing it on its back plate you could definitely see that it's a Rado Diastar scratch proof and it's Swiss made All right. so there you go that's the Rado Diastar R126370132 a luxury timepiece worth wearing so there you go it's flashy okay so for this particular timepiece having its uh, thickness at 12.5 millimeter you can see it over there and for its case diameter, uh, let's base it from the case itself. Let's just check this out. So it's 39 millimeter. There you go. So for this particular timepiece, it's luxury. That's what I have promised. I'll be featuring out luxury timepieces. So let's seal it all back up all right so it's still crispy there you go so let's wear it one more time all right. let's try to lock it up all right so there you go that's the Rado Diastar. So for a 39 millimeter timepiece, it's well 39 probably 39 40. It looks perfect on my wrist. Alright. So there you have it. That's the first timepiece. The Rado Diastar. A vintage one. And by the way, just to share with everybody, um well, the dial is luminescent, same as with the minute and hour indicator. Alright. So, it glows in the dark. Compared to the new releases of the Dias card, it, uh, it's not indicating numbers. It's uh, basically indicating uh, a stick as an indicator for, for its hours. And sometimes they have diamonds on it. So this is a vintage uh, model. So one of the first releases having a 100 meter uh, water resistance. So that's uh, for the first time piece. Okay. Now let's move on to the next one. So one down. So for the second time piece. This is the one that I 
basically got from the CEO bidding so there you have it another Rado so we have the second luxury timepiece so for this one let's check the inclusions so we have the standard dust cloth the instruction manual and you can see logos over there it's Rado Switzerland and then what we have over here is a reference number all right and a couple of detailed information about the timepiece plus by the way this is the, actually the new uh, type of card holder the one that I showed earlier was actually an old model so basically it's being placed uh, sideways but for this one you can place it it's like that that's how it's being placed in so what we have here is a genuine leather card holder and we have here well, if you could simply notice, it's purchased 26th of April 2021. So this is a new fine piece, right? And it has a two-year warranty for it, all right? So there you have it. That's the two-year warranty card, all right? And then what we have here is the... Well, another card for its uh, digital manual, All right? So it's, it has instructions, and for this one, um, it's a basic instruction on how to basically maintain or avoid uh, the watches from getting damaged all right so there you have it we have three cards here for this rado and to avoid further delay here we go that's the Rado Centrix GMT Automatic. Alright. So for this particular timepiece, if you could simply notice, it's mall value or market price at the mall. It's 7800 Dirhams. So if we're going to compute for that, 7,800 times 15. So just to share with everybody in Philippine Peso, this actually costs around 117,000. All right? On the mall. So here we go. So let's go on to its details, but first check it out. There you go. So for this, um, basing it on its uh, case diameter, I'm guessing it's around 40. All right, let's, just to be sure, let's check it. Yep, got an exact result so here we go there so what we have over here is the Rado Centrix UCT GMT automatic so that's what it says it's scratch proof all right hope you could guys you can basically hear it so 
uh, this is uh, one of the new models for the Centrix releases right so it's a UCT GMT timepiece all right and for this one um, just to share with everybody um, to identify uh, Arado if it's original or not here we go again you can see it on its logo so if you rotate the timepiece the hook basically follows with it alright so for this timepiece uh, it's water resistant 3 bars so that's 30 meter water resistant Right, and it's automatic and it's a push button deployment right class lock and it's titanium show it to everybody let's focus it a bit there you go so that's titanium so let's show to everybody its movement. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 28, 29, 30. So, uh, as a piece of advice, um, don't shake your uh, automatic time pieces. All you have to do is just wind it, right? Going down. Or upwards just like that for 30 times right so the winder would actually uh, have enough uh, well ha actually has enough wind to provide the ac accurate movement for the tide piece so there you go that's the luxury time piece that's the UTC all right so it has a scratch proof strap as well it's ceramic so most of the time piece uh, the new releases of Rado is already on a high-tech ceramic right unlike my my other one it's a plasma so there you go it looks elegant having a 40 millimeter case diameter so still it looks elegant if you're wearing uh, a black or a dark long sleeve and you have gold in you all right so there you go so it's uh, as what I mentioned it's already uh, a scratch proof material all around so for its glass it's sapphire so it's a timepiece definitely worth getting right for its price or mark mall value of 117,000 Philippine peso probably it's far more expensive because uh, in the Philippines because uh, in Dubai uh, I basically uh, based it on its market value in Dubai but if we're going to base it in the Philippines including taxes and all it's going to be far more expensive right that's uh, assuming on its uh, market value. So there you have it. That's the Rado UCT Automatic GMT. Okay. So now, let's head off to our grand finale. Which is... The timepiece that, well, everybody would really want to have. It's a timepiece that you could basically um, show to everyone. So let's first discuss this. So what we have here. It has a free strap 
on it. So, let's unbox it. Let's put this on the side for a second. Alright, so what we have here is a genuine leather. it a genuine leather and what's inside is the free strap and it also has a, a small piece of paper <laughs> I'm quite sure what this is oh this is actually for the lugs so this comes in handy all right in case that I'm changing my lugs so what we have here is uh, well, it's a butterfly clasp lock for the leather strap, right? and then a NATO strap. Let's check the NATO strap. Wow, definitely, this is something that I could actually use um, on my other timepieces. There you go. So you could see a lo the logo. Alright. There you go. That's Rado. Okay. So, uh, well, as far as I know, there is actually a couple of people who owns this particular timepiece already. Naming the banker. Chris Paul Adapt right. and I'm not quite sure if Vincent already has received his so that's Dorado travel bag okay so well pretty much everybody knows that uh, what what will come out next is the much awaited timepiece right that was inspired coming from the 1962 original timepiece or original model right which was been uh, basically named after a British explorer named as Captain Cook. Alright. So before we show the timepiece, whoops. Let's show the inclusion. So we have the dust bag. The instruction manual. Alright. And we have the leather card holder with the product details behind it there you go and three pieces of card again so just to share with everybody uh, this time piece uh, was initially been acquired last when was this The 12th of May, 2021. Alright. So, this is the timepiece. And we have the two-year warranty. Um, the digital manual. And... Instruction guides to avoid the, the watch or the timepiece getting damaged all right so it's uh, actually an information uh, card for the timepiece so now let's show what we've got and voila there you have it the captain cook 
So I believe that um, the banker owns the green one, same as with Chris. All right. And for my end, I preferred having the blue because usually I wear light or dark outfits. So for this one, it's the timepiece that I basically took is the one which has let's focus on it the one that I actually took is the 30 uh, well I think that well what I actually took over here is the 300 meter water resistant which is 1,000 feet, all right? So for this particular move, uh, timepiece, the movement for this is uh, caliber 763, if I'm not mistaken. It's a, spe uh, a specific movement, uh, only for Rado, all right? And for this, we have a rotating bezel, all right? And, well, for its glass, just to share with everybody, um, it's brand new, so let's terrorize it. It's sapphire crystal, right? For the bezel, it's high-tech ceramic. So basically, the bezel itself is also scratch-proof, right? And then for its case diameter, this one is, I think that this one is 42 if I'm not mistaken. Probably 42.5 or something. Yep, I got it barely correct. It's 42 millimeter. Alright. And for its thickness, it's 12 millimeter there you have it so for this particular timepiece it has an 80 hour power reserve a date window right a loop well let's check if it's luminescent yep it has a luminescent indices uh the hour, minute, and seconds and are also luminescent. And if you can simply notice to check if it's original, you can basically see the hook also moving. It's rotating. So there you go. It's on the bottom now. Right? So for its, uh, well just uh, to basically uh, inform everyone uh, about this particular timepiece, uh, as far as I know, uh, the movement for this particular timepiece, it's uh, 28,800 uh, VPH, that's uh, vibrations per hour. Uh, roughly, it actually goes within that range up to 21,600 if I'm not mistaken, just to share with everybody. So this is the timepiece, alright. So as what I mentioned earlier, this particular timepiece originally uh, was been uh, revived coming from the 1962 original Captain Cook. So th this is a new model, right? And well, coming from the 21st century, uh, we could basically uh, say that it has an elegant design now, right? The old one doesn't have the, the indicators, uh, the, the inscriptions at the bottom. It doesn't have one. And it says over here, and if you can simply notice the back, there is the three horse all right so for the 
butterfly deployment class block. It says here it's titanium. Let's focus on it a little bit. There you go. So it's titanium. And let's check on how it will look on my wrist. There you have it. So it looks basically elegant, right? Let's put a little bit of impact on it. There you go. So that's the Rado Captain Cook, all right? With an 80 hour power reserve and it's worth getting. So basically for its market value as what I can see over here, it seems that they took it off so that um, well, if uh, customs found out on how much this one costs, definitely, uh, I'll have a huge tax on it. So, let's see. Let's check out on the market on how much it uh, basically costs right now. So, let's see. Rado not on this window let's switch windows so let's check add up one Rado captain cook 300 meters so for its market value um, it shows over here that in philippines So in Philippines, well it doesn't actually show it here, let's check it on Chrono24. So for this Rado, it's market value in the Philippines, it shows here that It's on, well, I'm looking for the 300 meter one. So it shows over here that it's roughly around 150,000, 120 Philippine peso. So that's its market value. Right? In the Philippines, that's 150,120 Philippine Peso. And that does not include the free straps that came with it. Alright? So, basically, um, that's all for this review. And I would like to advise you guys to please uh, subscribe on my YouTube channel so that uh, it will well for you guys to get a chance to actually uh, participate on my event which is the 2k run for our, for the our empire and then the 2.5k run for jams posh and the 3000 run which is going to be for kunos altel so um for those particular events uh it has uh well i have actually a strict uh, rule that uh, you basically need to subscribe in public right on my pay on my channel so that I would be well my staff would be able to generate your names on the long list of subscribers and I'll be then forwarding those uh, that particular particular list uh, to the our Empire Kunoza Hotel at Jams Posh to identify if you have been uh, well so you you're basically following or you're actually one of their daily supporters all right so I hope that you guys would participate on those events because what I'm giving out is our luxury watches so that's one luxury watch for the 3k run another luxury watch for the 2.5k run and then another 
one, all right? One more luxury watch for the 3K run for Kunoz Altel, all right? So, thank you very much to the Our Empire, to my dear brother, Tomas, also known as Nogni, the Godfather, to Brother Oli or Boss Oli, Repa Oli, and then to my dear son, Third or Boss Third, all right? Plus to their team, which is Mika and Anjo or Andro, uh, the admins, and for Anjo, the one who's taking care of my shipments, all right? So thank you very much to the Our Empire. I really appreciate uh, the fine pieces that I was able to acquire from your page. So I do hope that I would be able to acquire more luxury items as the day passes. So once again, it's me, Mr. Kobayashi. Right? Saying it once more. Have a great day. Alright? So for Master G. Peace out.